today I'm wearing an actual shirt and just you have, are. instead that's, of just having one painted that's, on. That's what's throwing me off is that like that's like a an actual like dry fit shirt that was created in the last like two years. I'm wearing my one like non hand me down piece of attire. This hoodie. I know. So I'm I'm dressed to the nines. You're dressed to the nine. You can't pluralize it. <laughs> yeah. With the niners, it's more like he's dressed to the one and nine. <laughs> oh, hey. Stan! Oh. Ah, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that one wasn't that one wasn't that bad. Welcome to Upsides, the cheapest and least diverse NFL show on YouTube. I'm Matt Ufford, joined as always by my medium-sized adult sons, Will and Alex. How's it going, buddies? And John, you don't introduce John anymore. Yeah. Beach cop. <laughs> this guy here, I call. The Uffster. Today we are going to find the NFL a new commissioner. The NFL's got to get rid of Roger Goodell. Time for us, the uh, sur search committee. We're the search committee. <laughs> the, the, for chair the chair folks. The chair folks. Uh, we'll find the next commissioner of the NFL, Roger Goodell, of course, under fire from Jerry Jones and his cabal of shadow owners. If you are in the NFL, if you are the commissioner of the NFL, you can mess up Spygate, Bountygate, Deflategate, Ray Rice and the entire domestic abuse problem. But if you suspend one of Jerry Jones' best players, your job is in, is in peril, my friend. Roger Goodell is really upset that, uh, that they're trying to give him a, just a, an incentive-based contract. Like 88% of his pay would be incentives. If you're coming out even with just like a million in base pay or like a base pay of 500,000, could be 30 million if you just like hit a couple traffic goals or whatever NFL commissioners are supposed to do. I don't know. Hey, you got it. You have to suspend at least five players by the end of the year. Done and done. That's a good a couple extra mil. Well, the reason he was pissed off about it was the majority of them are weight incentive based and they mm. fluctuate like crazy. That's a puffy man who spends a lot of time in boardrooms. It's a garbage bag that's filled with a little too much water. He'll order the pizzas, but nobody's eating until the problems get solved. The first name that has been floated to replace Roger Goodell is Bill Polian, former personnel czar of the Colts. Ooh, crushed it there. That is the least imaginative name I could possibly think of. Even if we're just talking about like NFL executives that are kind of like in the ether of the NFL, why not Amy Trask? Like, super competent former Raiders executive. Every time she like speaks about an issue that fa that the NFL faces, I'm like, yeah, she should have more responsibility. Doesn't have that Ursay stink on her. Yeah. Can't wash that out. You can get an LSD contact high from like shaking Ursay's hand. Papa John would be a, a good commish for the NFL. Papa John's out, he apologized. Oh! He apologized for blaming the NFL, and oh. that is not what a good commissioner would do. No, you take you that to your down. grave. Were you gonna jump in with any names there, Haas? Um, I'll go with Steve Young. Uh, you look at two of the best commissioners recently, Paul Tagliabue and Adam Silver, both lawyers. Steve Young has the law background, he has business background, he has good relationships with everyone. Is there anyone that makes more sense than Steve Young? No. No, they're... That made sense to me. That, that makes perfect sense. You could have, like, saved your good idea for the end so people were like, oh, that was a good journey, but no, you gotta... I am immune to bad ideas. <laughs> he is smart. He has the, the law degree. Jerry Rice thinks he's cool. I feel like Commissioner 2 would give him the opportunity to stop using that hair dye. It's looking real obvious these days. Steve Young, you make enough money, like, go have a stylist take care of that. Don't do it at home, man. Yeah, you have, like, a, a solid sponsorship with Van Heusen. Yes. Like. You know what you're doing appearance-wise. You, you're you you're good at wearing a shirt. Do you think part of it is out of fear that, like, because he doesn't want to have to go by Steve Old? All right, all right, I'll give it to you. Air, air. I was going to float, like, one of the Trumps. Donald but Trump. But it, it rotates. Just, just somebody, just somebody has to clock it every day. Donald Trump would definitely rather be commissioner of the NFL than president. But I don't think it's realistic. No. Not with the, the way that he's... Uh, you know, knocked heads with the NFL this year. Yeah, and how he doesn't want to do work. Eric Trump is going to be perfect for Jerry Jones because that guy is wet clay. Jerry Jones can shape him into whatever he wants, including like, including his weird gummy smile. He's the driest wet clay there has ever been. You boys have had your time to shine, but I welcome to this new segment called Commission List by Will. First up, Jeff Bezos. 
Don't really know what he does, but he seems to do it pretty well. He could buy the league. He could buy the league. Next up, Jeff Fisher. Historically, good uh, good mediocre track record, which is what the NFL needs. He has a mustache that screams leadership. I, I feel like that mustache it screams leadership? Leadership. Charles Entertainment Cheese. So he knows more about pizza than Papa John. Founder of Chuck E. Cheese's. He knows what he's doing when he's running shit. Fun for the whole family. Next up, Krang. All hail Krang. All hail Krang. Last one. This person has a 75% approval rating by NFL players. Uh, very willing to get crooked to get in with the owners. Uh, it's me. I think I should be the NFL commissioner. Okay. Three out of four NFL players like me. That's proven. Yeah. Studies show that. Yeah. Small sample size. But pretty big compared to others. The rest of this is just my qualifications. Will, I'm going to back you. I think that also if you just, if you're just not as greedy as Goodell, if you just say like, listen guys, I'll do this for two and a half million dollars a year. Oh sh. Is that how we get the we get a bidding war? Just, Somebody just shows up who's like, hey, I'm kind of qualified. I've been watching the NFL like every Sunday for the last two decades, and I'll do the job for $40 million less than Roger Goodell. That guy's asking for $50 million in a private jet. Give me 50 grand a year and a Kia of your choice. Wow, yeah, Kia's are pretty good. Uh, Kia's are good cars. They can be real sh though. Ooh. The one the hamsters drive. And their uh, official sponsor of the NBA. Ooh! Mm, so close. Guess I'm commissioner of the NBA now. <laughs> if we take the tack that like this is Jerry Jones finding the replacement that's gonna do his whim, are there any like former Cowboys players who are having like financial problems? Probably most of them because apparently every paycheck that he sends out has fishing line at the end of it and he just reels it back in. What if all the owners have been not signing Colin Kaepernick because they know he's meant for better things like being the commissioner. That is some fantasy football, my friend, in that this is like science fiction fantasy. We would really find out what the secession laws are for many states. The way I see it, with the top 1% now owning uh, half of all the world's wealth, I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry for billionaire. I just want some billionaires too. I want to eat one of those mother I'll be honest, every now and then you, you, you talk and it's a little too smart for me and so I zone out a little bit and I don't remember how we got to the cannibal part, but f am I on this train. <laughs> if you could eat any NFL owner, who would you pick? Like Mark Davis really comes to mind, but there's, there's part of it that like you would feel bad eating a child and that's all he is. I like Mark Davis because he's a little bit young, like a lot of the owners are like old and lean and stringy and you know that there's not going to be any like good meat you'd have to there's definitely good meat on mark davis yeah there's, there's good meat on mark davis see i disagree with you i'd go tom benson because he's super old he's been marinating for a while oh no there's, but you're gonna like, you're like there's so much hate in there yeah. hate could I be think... delicious i would pick the packers owner because then i can just select any of the fat that have paid a stupid amount of yeah. money to be the owner are, of the team. That are bragging, I, ew, I, gotta be, I gotta be, this paper says I'm an owner. Delicious, come it, on over. It's great, I'm an owner and I can frame this and I, it counts as art. Now it's time for the mailbag. Chris B says, wasted four minutes and 24 seconds. I will never get back. This is a really cliched phrase, like what, what do you do with any time that you get back? Oh, hey, I'm gonna get, oh, I just did something for five minutes. How am I gonna get that back? You don't get any time back. You get nothing back. Your life is gone already and you've pissed it away watching another YouTube video. Share it with your friends though so they can be as miserable. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, subscribe to SB Nation, comment below. Give us a thumbs up. See you in two weeks. I don't like this, Matt. <laughs>